welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy at Attic Treasures Etc. And I'm here for day 14, even though today is actually December 15th, but I'm here for day 14 um, of December 2022, hosted by Barbara at 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel at Junk Journal Art. And today's prompt is, well, yesterday's prompt, but I'm pretending it's today, um, pattern and matchbook and the animal is a peacock. So I gathered some supplies here, been thinking about this for a while, how I wanted to do it, and I have a peacock from the Antiquarian sticker book, and then um, some of these cute little mushrooms, and um, these transparent wings from Tim Holtz, and a piece of pattern, and a stencil. And, of course, my paper that I'm going to do, make the matchbook out of. Now, I, I need it to fit on the page so I can't be too tall, but I want to be able to accommodate this peacock, which is kind of tall. And if I fold it in such a way that I have um, some overhang to, to flip up on the bottom to make it a matchbook, it won't be tall enough for, my, for the peacock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down. And I'm going to do this at a, I'm going to cut it at about four and a half inches. So I'm going to cut another um, a piece that's about um, an inch and a half wide. By four inches. Or four and a half inches. So this is going to be what forms the the matchbook part. I'm just going to fold it in half. And then I'll be able to glue this on the bottom and then have my matchbook like so. So I'm going to set that aside. Okay, so now I'm just going to fold this in half. And I would like to collage on this uh, pattern piece because that's one of the um, items in the prompt. Is a pattern, and I hope this is what it meant. <laughs> I have lots of patterns. let this dry a little bit and in the meantime while that's drying I want to take this uh, from the antiquarian sticker book and glue it onto um, some backing just to give it a little bit of stability I'm going to uh, emboss it with just some clear embossing powder, um, just so it'll stand out, and uh, maybe make those colors come a little bit, make them a little bit more vibrant. So I just have some clear embossing powder here. Yeah, I like the way that looks. So I'm just going to tear off uh, the excess pattern piece here. Still a touch wet, so I'm just going to dry it off. Okay, I have the stencil. <clears throat> and I want to uh, just stencil the front of this a little bit. And I'm going to 
use peeled paint, distress oxide, and fired brick. This is a Waverly uh, brand stencil that I just picked up at Walmart. And these domed foam blending uh, daubers uh, help get inside the stencil a little bit better than just the flat ones. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm just gonna fussy cut this out. Cut off as much of the border as I can. So I fussy cut around the peacock, and that was uh, quite a little chore, lots of little nooks and crannies. And now I'm going to um, adhere this butterfly, this uh, transparent wings butterfly. And I'm using um, collage medium because it will dry clear. And I'm just going to spread it on with my finger because I think it's easier. I can get a more even coating. And I want the peacock to be right about there. So some art glitter glue for him. Adding the um, embossing powder to this peacock just really brought the colors out really nicely. So I think I'm going to shave off a sliver on um, can I miss a spot. Well, I might have missed a little bit. But that's okay. Just about a quarter of an inch, so it will fit inside the little flap better. That'll work just great. So why don't we go ahead and put that flap on now, wherever it went. Where did it go? Okay, here we go. So let me ink this up. I'm just going to use some black soot glue the back on first. We live down the street, just kind of around the corner from uh, some people who have peacocks. And we can hear them once in a while. And I always thought that they sounded like babies crying. In fact, the first time I ever heard a peacock cry or call or whatever that is that sound is that they make, <laughs> I thought it was a baby crying. I'm just going to take my tiny attacher here and uh, put a couple of staples in the very bottom below where the, the front edge of that is, the bottom edge. Now I have a couple of stickers. A couple of mushroom stickers. Whenever I put mushrooms on anything, my husband always says, you and your mushrooms. <laughs> I love mushrooms. I love to eat them. I love to decorate with them. I love them on my collages. I just think they're adorable and delicious and so healthy for you.
And then I also used my Dymo labeler and I printed out uh, Wistful Dreams. And I'm not really sure where I want this to be yet. <laughs> Might put it just right here on the on the flap. Or don't really want to cover up anything there. I think on the flap is a good spot. You know, when we first started looking for a Dymo labeler, um, we found one right away at a thrift store, and now we see them at thrift stores all the time. And you can still get plenty of the tape for it. Uh, sometimes we even find the tape at, at thrift stores. My husband found this one for me. I have two now, one that just prints in regular font, and this one uh, prints in cursive. It has a cursive cartridge. And I want to put paper on the inside. So I have uh, some paper here, and I'm going to cut, um, cut down a few lengths of it fold it up. So this is four and a half inches, so I'll cut my uh, paper at four and a quarter. So it will fit in there just fine. Just have some coffee dyed paper. And that's already a four and a quarter. Well, of course it is, because it's eight and a half. So eight and a half and uh, four and a quarter and four and a quarter obviously makes eight and a half. So I'm gonna go sew the paper in along the top there and I'll be right back. Alrighty, the paper is in. Sewed it in right here in the ditch and what I do to make it easier for myself is that I'll, I fold the paper back on itself and then um, just take some ink on an ink, you know, dauber and go along the crease and then that makes it easier for me to see where to, where I'm sewing. And then I'll just tuck this underneath the, um, the flap there and I have my matchbook. So I that was super simple and easy and um, I really like the way it turned out. So I hope you did too and I hope you're well on your way to making matchbooks because you can make them any size and the only thing that determined the size for this one is the height of this peacock here, which was the animal for this prompt. So we have a matchbook and some pattern and um, a peacock. And I really like how it came out. So I'm looking forward to putting this in my journal. So if you like this, please give me a thumbs up and um, please subscribe as well. So I appreciate each and every one of you so much. And please leave me a comment if you like this. And um, I will see you next time when we do um, the prompt for the 15th, which is actually today, where we use metal and a photo. So that'll be interesting. See what I come up with for that. So have always let the serendipity find you, everybody. Happy crafting, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.